Hello again, everyone. Welcome to a new Let's Play from Wadget Eye Games, The Blackwell Legacy. Uh, this is a uh, series of point-and-click adventure games, uh, very much in the vein uh, of LucasArts games and uh, Sierra Adventure games. Uh, let's take a look at our options before we uh, get started. Uh, I've got the speech on, I've got the subtitles on, uh, commentary is off, and I have no achievements yet. Um, I have not played the game myself. I have watched uh, um, Rasulka's uh, Let's Plays of the series, so I'm not totally blind. But it's been quite a while since I've watched those, so... Uh, um, uh, it's going to be kind of... Not totally blind. Uh, I'm sure a lot of things will come back to me as I play it, but... Uh, yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and start a new game. I... Would you like to activate in-game instructions? I think I'm good game. I think I can figure it out. Note, you can still view instructions by clicking the help button on the options screen. Thank you. Day one. Ooh, days. Fun times. I guess we're so, playing this girl I guess in the this is it. green sweater. Years of watching and waiting and hoping, and it comes down to this. Do I love you? Do I miss you? I don't know for sure, I hardly know you, but you're the closest thing to family I've got, and I suppose that's something. Goodbye, Auntie. You were talking to an urn there. Wherever she you can't are. hear you. Where, where did the urn go? Did you just toss the urn? I'm sure that's nothing. I'm sure that's nothing. And we get to watch the uh, credit sequence. The game has pretty good uh, um, uh, music, I think. Uh, this is the uh, re recorded uh, uh, speech for uh, um, our main character. The uh, uh, first release had uh, um, a different voice actress for her, and she was. Not all that great. But this is uh, the same woman who does the rest of the games. What a morning. At least I'm home now. Ah, and home is where the heart is. Hey, so, we've got our cursor. Uh, mouse over things that we can interact with, and it will uh, give us a little pop-up. The windows look into the lobby of the building. Oh, that's good. It's the front door. Is it really now? I've never seen this kid before in my life. You know, kid, smoking is bad for you. Let's go talk to him. Hi there. Um, hi? So who are you visiting today? I am not visiting anyone. I want to go home. Uh, so we can express surprise, laugh it off, or make an inquiry. Let's oh. laugh it off. Ha ha. Seriously, who are you here to see? Can't let you in unless you tell me. Um, I live here? No, you don't. I know everybody in the building. I don't know you. Clearly you don't know everyone in the building if you don't know us. State really? the facts. I live here. Nice try. I know everyone that... in this building, and I don't know you. There aren't Sorry. a lot of facts there. I've lived here for five years. Then how come I've never seen you before? That's a pretty no good question. Idea. Doesn't matter. If you lived here, I'd know you. That's all there is to it. Oh, well, you're kind of, uh, confident about that. Let's question Who his presence. Who the hell presence. are you? Jim Birdo. All right, Jim. Where's the regular doorman? Jeez, where have you been? He's on strike. Was He's what? Strike. Disposing All of my aunt's servicemen in the city uh, ashes. Union rules or something. How rude. I stepped in to help because I know everybody. How come nobody told me? Notices were posted all over the building. I put them up myself. If you lived here, you'd have seen them. Who pays attention to things like that? Well, that's not my problem. <laughs> Clearly, she doesn't. Uh, let's see. Let's give her our address. Maybe that'll Listen, uh, get him to believe. I really believe live us. here. Fourth floor, number 4E. See? 4E. Hmm. Isn't that apartment empty? Oh, no, burn. I live there, and I want to go there. Thank you very much. Oh. Hmm. Maybe you're telling the truth. Indeed. He sees reason. Thank God. Do you have any ID? A driver's license or something? Yes. I have a driver's license. It's upstairs. In my desk drawer. Don't! Oh, crap. <laughs> Come on, this is New York. Who actually drives? True. Other than they the rich people. can't let you in unless you prove you live here. Can I kick you in the nuts? That might prove uh, that I live here. Uh, let's, uh... Yeah, there we go. Threaten violence. Out of my way. I'm going in. I wouldn't do that. 
Why? Are you going to stop me? Me? No. But I've got a cell phone in my pocket with 911 programmed in. All Damn I have it. to do is hit send and the cops will be here in five minutes. Are you serious? Really? Oh, I don't totally believe serious. that. Five minutes? I don't believe this. In New York? Come on. Please, I've sympathy. had a really tough morning. Yeah, I need to get my aunt home. died. Sorry, lady. Rules are rules. Damn it! Screw the rules, Attica, Attica. I'm not even sure if I'm making the right reference there. Uh, well, I've got an option to show my proof. I have my apartment key. Will that do? Yeah. See. Sorry, no. That could be any key. Oh well, come on! Surely the apartment keys are all the same. And leave the door unattended? Can't do it. Sorry. You were very helpful, sir. Very helpful. Um, I guess we can ask about the How strike. How long is the strike going to last? I don't know. Could be a couple hours or a couple days. Depend on whether they reach a settlement or not. I don't know the details. Well, that that certainly makes it difficult to uh, get in. Can we okay. ask for help? I have no ID, and you don't know me. What can I do to prove that I live here? Hmm. Well, can anyone in the building vouch for you? I'm not sure. I mean, I don't really know anybody here. How long have you lived here again? Be quiet. Not all of us are social butterflies. Some of hey, us are social whatever. caterpillars. Hey, what about Nishanti Sharma? She could vouch for you. Ah. What about what her? Who is this Nis... Uh, Nish... Nishanti. The name wasn't that hard. Nishanti Sharma. She lives in 4F. You know, right next door to 4E. You really don't get out much, do you? Your point? Nothing, but I'm sure she could vouch There's for you. There's a lot of books Great. that need Call reading, sir. She's not here. Of course she isn't. So I gotta wait here all day for her. You might have to. Although, she usually goes to Washington Square Park in the mornings. You could look for her there. Well, clearly that's where we have to go. Uh, we could restate the obvious, but I think that's not gonna get us anywhere. Let's grudgingly take our leave. I'll be back. See you around. Now she's the Terminator. Alright, so we can exit. There's nothing off that side. So let's go ahead and exit! There's Washington Square, uh, uh, Washington Square Park, and Rose's apartment. Let's go to Washington Square Park. Washington Square. It's been a while since I've been here. You really Still don't get out much. Still looks the same, I guess. Although the dog park is empty, I wonder why. Maybe it's just maybe everyone is at work. So we've got a menu up here with our inventory. There's a letter there. We can access the options. Let's see about this letter. Okay, nope. Can I click on it? Yes! Dr. Donald Quentin, Bellevue Medical Hospital. Oh, that's... that's not good. Miss Blackwell, my name is Dr. Donald Quentin, and I was your aunt's primary care physician here at Bellevue Hospital. I have seen to your aunt's needs since she arrived here 25 years ago. Whoa, that's... that's an awfully long time. Please accept my heartfelt condolences for your loss. Feel free to visit my office and at any time. I am sure we have much to discuss. Sincerely, Donald Quentin, MD. October 12th, 2006. Yeah, for those who've never seen, uh, say, Law & Order, Bellevue is the um, mental hospital in New York. Good times. Now, how do I get out of here? How do I get... Oh, there we go. Exit. So there's a sign, dog walk entrance, anything else that I can look at? Can't look at the trees? Let's look at the sign. Please note, Dog Walking Park is closed until further notice. Hmm. Oh, guess that explains it. Please note, hmm. no. the dog park is empty. Can I open it? The dog park is empty. There's yeah, no one... reason to go in there. Aww. Game. To the fountain. All right, to the fountain, men! Mm. Uh-oh. Now I'm getting a stress headache. I need to get home. Yeah, surely he would let us in with that explanation. No? Can I look at anything? There's some nice flute music. I guess... Doggy! He's wearing one of those extendable leashes. Yep, apparently so. I don't think so. Aww. Not a dog fan, are you? Well, I... That's her. Don't I recognize you. her from my building. Nishanti... Sharma, was it? This is gonna be awkward. <laughs> Excuse me, lady, do you know me? I've lived next door to you for five years. And look, he's wearing a nice little conical birthday hat. Aww. That's Nishanti Sharma. My next door neighbor, apparently. 
She's Apparently. playing some sort of flute. Can I look at anything else? No? No? Oh, trash can. The dog's leash is tied to the trash can. Can I... Can't can't release it. That nope. Uh, excuse. I can't do it. I can't just barge up to her. Not in front of all those people. They're all staring. Yep. I don't blame you there either. Well. Hi, doggy. Let's uh, let's wander. No, actually, maybe we will go back and. Uh oh. Oh, oh poor for heaven's dog. sake. Don't worry, Moti. I'm coming. <laughs> Plan worked flawlessly. They're all better. I can't take you anywhere, it can just... I? Ah, oh, there we go. I just oh, had to mouse it's over you. it. The lady next door. Yeah. Holy crap, Hi. she recognizes Rhonda, us. Isn't it? No, Rosangela. Well, Rosangela. I hope my friend here hasn't been giving you any trouble. No, I just tried to pee on my leg. Uh, let's, uh, let's compliment the pooch. That's a cute dog you've got. That's, that's a compliment. <laughs> I love Isn't that he grin. just? Normally he behaves, but he seems to have taken a shine to you. Uh oh Oh, great. Anyway, I don't think yeah, we formally met. great. I'm Nishanti. Rosangela. Yeah, so it's only said. been five years. Oh, I haven't formally met. right. Um, yes? I have a strange favor to ask. Go ahead and ask. I have a feeling we're going to be saying someone? that a lot in this game. You know game. that building servicemen strike? Yes. Jim Birdo is covering, isn't he? Yeah, that's the problem, see. He doesn't recognize me. Oh? Oh. So you need me to vouch for you? Yeah, that I would know be this helpful. is pretty stupid. That would be very helpful. Don't worry about it. Moti is getting a little cranky. Hey, anyway. alright. A nice neighbor. Thanks. In New York. Amazing. Don't bark. Bad dog. Mm. Are you alright? I'm fine. I just need to get home. All right. Neat. Let's get Advil. walking. Oops, sorry. I think I clicked on that. Yeah, you can click through the text. I can't control how fast they actually move once they finish Hello, talking, Jim. though. Hey, Miss Sharma. Jim, this is Rosangela. She lives here. She does? Okay. Sorry about earlier. Had to be sure. Yeah, that's, uh... That's all it took, really. So we can do our angry response, sarcastic response, which... I tend to like, but uh, let's go for what I really like, the syrupy sweet res sweet response. Oh, it was no problem at all. Do you want anything else? Milk or orange juice, perhaps? Um. <laughs> Never mind. Just get out of my way. <laughs> ah, New Yorkers. Well, here we are. Yes. Finally. That stupid kid. Well, perhaps. But try not to be so hard on him. We're all neighbors, after all. But he didn't yeah, recognize me. That's not very neighborly. Looks like somebody is hungry. I'd best get this spoiled puppy fed. Feel free to drop in any time you want. Um, surprised response, uncertain response, or polite response. Let's do the polite response. I'll think about it. No thinking that's, needed. That's I know the we polite response. Don't usually talk to our neighbors, but who cares? The city can be a lonely place, especially when you live alone. I've got Moti. Who do you have? My computer. I'm sure she has a computer. Uh, tr uh, let's. Yeah, that's that's. that the neither of those two sound very good. Let's try to make oh, a joke. I have three great roommates. Oh. Yes. Um, their names are me, myself, and I. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, uh, it's a joke. Love that. Yeah, grin. I get it. Very funny. I'm sure you're you, fine. You don't think it's Although funny, do you? Although your episode in the park tells me otherwise, and your eyes. I well, just haven't had just caffeine. Say the offer stands. Sure. It's just the caffeine. Go home now. That's we'll that's, see that's what's calling, soon, causing the shakes. Angela, I'm sure. Just need caffeine. Shakes. Shakes. Hey. Yes. Um, you can call me Rosa if you like. Rose Angela is kind of a mouthful, you know. Those are the best names. All right, Come on. Rosa. You have a good day now. What a strange lady. I'm sure she's saying the same thing about you. The elevator. Really? I had no idea. That door leads to Nishanti's apartment. I can't remember who lives there. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. That door leads to my apartment. Can I look at these things? Nope. 
Can I walk down this way? No. Ah, oh, invisible plot wall! Alright, let's go. Inside! Yay! Home sweet home. home. Thank God. I've never been so happy to see a 500 square foot room in my life. That's awfully small. Ugh. Well. Let's go ahead and save the game here. We'll pick it up next time. See you then.